Alright guys, so with this question, what you could realize is the following, or what you should always look out for is x-intercepts. When you can find x-intercepts, things are quite easy. So here we've got a x-intercept for the graph of f, but it's also a turning point. Now you need to remember this, when there is an x-intercept at the same place where it's a turning point, you need to count that as two x-intercepts. Then we could find another x-intercept for this graph at point Q. Why can we do that? Because it's also the x-intercept of this graph. And so we can find the x-intercept at point Q by making y0 for this graph. And so that's going to give us 0 equals to minus x plus 2. And so x would be equal to 2. So now we have three x-intercepts. So we can make three brackets for the graph of f. And when you find the equation of a graph, you should always remember the little a in the front. So for this one, you always switch it around. So if that's minus 1, then in brackets you'll say x plus 1. And then we'll put another 1, because remember we said that there are two x-intercepts if it's a turning point. Next, we can use this one, which is a positive 2. So in the bracket form, you would say x minus 2. Now to find a, we substitute another point that we haven't used yet. So we could find this point over here because it's the interception of the straight line with the y-axis and we have the straight lines equation. So we can make x 0 like that and that's going to give us 2. So the coordinates here would be 0 and 2. But luckily that point is also on the cubic graph and so we can use it to find a. So we can say 2 equals to a 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1, 0 minus 2. And so that's going to be 2 equals to a. All of these numbers multiplied together is just going to be minus 2. And so a would equal minus 1. And so now I can say f of x equals to minus 1. Then I can put the brackets x plus 1, x plus 1, x minus 2. To make it look like f of x, I would have to multiply everything out. So I'm going to leave the minus 1 in the front and I'm going to multiply these two together. That would give me x squared plus 2x plus 1 and then I've still got an x minus 2. Next I'm going to, so I'm just multiplying everything out. You guys know how to do this. And then I'm going to put the minus 1 into that. So that'll be minus x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x squared plus 4x minus x plus 2. Then you can just simplify all the like terms. And that's going to give you minus x cubed. Those cancel out. It's going to be plus 3x plus 2.